the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. On this last day of the Novena, we are going to consider three specific prophecies of Our Lady. The first two are considering are concerning two men, which are very prophecies which are very dear within tradition, which are examples for us of this uh, fight against the crisis. The first prophecy is concerning the social political order. Our Lady says, within a short time, the country in which you live will cease to be a colony and will become a free republic. Then it will be known by the name of Ecuador and it will need heroic souls in order to support it in the midst of so many public and private calamities. She continues saying in the 19th century, there will be a president truly Christian, a man of character, whom God our Lord will give the palm of martyrdom in the plaza where this my convent is. He will consecrate the republic to the divine heart of my most holy son. Our Lady speaks about a Catholic president, which seems clear that could not apply to any other other than the president Gabriel Garcia Moreno, the president who was truly Catholic at this time in Ecuador. He reformed the clergy, the church, morals within his country. He established truly the reign of our Lord in his country. The, he fought against the Freemasonry. He, fought for the rights of the church. He brought great prosperity to the country and he consecrated Ecuador to the most sacred heart of our Lord. And all of this cost him his life as he was killed by the Masons, as Our Lady says, in the plaza in front of his convent. And that, that is the same word in the, the presidential palace is found in Quito. And we see Our Lady, she insists on this, uh, this consecration of Ecuador to the Sacred Heart was very important for the country in the years following this because they were years of persecution of the church and they helped to sustain the Catholic religion within the country, helped to sustain the, the people of Ecuador. Now the second prophecy, Our Lady prophesizes this in the last years of the Madre Mariana, she says that, they will, that the, in the midst of this crisis of, of the faith, there would come this prelate who would restore the spirit of the priesthood. Now concerning this, we will use the, our, our founder, Monsignor Lefebvre, um, he made reference to this prophecy in the sermon of the Episcopal Consecrations in the, in the year 88. So we're going to use the, the words of our, of our founder. It was not only the good Pope Leo XIII who said these things, that is to say, he's speaking about how Rome will lose the faith, but Our Lady prophesied them as well. Just recently, the priest who takes care of the society's priory in Bogotá, Colombia, brought me a book concerning the apparition of Our Lady of Buen Suceso, with success, to whom a large church in Ecuador, Quito, capital of Ecuador, was dedicated. They were received by a nun shortly after the Council of Trent, so you see, quite a few centuries ago. This apparition is thoroughly recognized by Rome and the ecclesiastical authorities. A magnificent church was built for the Blessed Virgin Mary, wherein the faithful of Ecuador venerate with great devotion a statue of Our Lady, whose face was made miraculously. The artist was in the process of finishing it when he found the face of the Holy Virgin miraculously formed. And Our Lady prophesied for the 20th century saying explicitly that during the 19th century and most of the 20th century, errors would become more and more widespread in Holy Church, placing the Church in a catastrophic situation. Morals would become corrupt and the faith would disappear. It seems impossible not to see it happening today. I excuse myself for continuing this account of the apparition, but she speaks of a prelate who will absolutely oppose this wave of apost apostasy and impiety saving the priesthood by forming good priests. You may draw your own conclusions if you will. I do not wish to do so, I cannot. I myself was stupefied when reading these lines, but I cannot deny them since they are recorded and deposited in the archives of this apparition. 
So we see how Our Lady emphasizes this need to restore the priesthood in the midst of the crisis, as we saw yesterday, the need of, of anchoring ourselves to the true sacraments of the Church, sacraments which were so attacked after the Second Vatican Council. And how this, this uh, being faithful to these sacraments will, will be part of this solution to the crisis of the Church. Now, the third prophecy is in the last apparition of Our Lady of Buen Suceso to Madre Mariana. In this apparition, Madre Mariana sees the three archangels who each one has in their, in their hands different objects which symbolize different things which are going to be parts of the solution to this crisis in the church. For example, one of the archangels has a, a ciborium of hosts, which is, represents the Holy Eucharist, which is and one of these, one of these uh, devotions which is necessary against the crisis. Our Lady will then speak about the religious life. We had, we had mentioned before how the, the Virgin speaks about the, about the necessity of restoring the religious spirit, but also Our Lady speaks about the necessity of restoring the, the, the actual monastery, the convent, the religious life, as a solution to this crisis. So St. Raphael, is, he has in his hand a vial with the balm, with, the, with the, this sweet perfume. Our Lady says that this signifies the cloisters and convents. She says that they're the only places in which the solid virtues are practiced daily, along with the regular observation and the austere penance of its inhabitants. She says that these monasteries and convents purify the impure air, which is breathed by the mundane people given to the vices and the most shameful passions, having the soul feel a great joy and admirable tranquility, peace, which uh, going within themselves, they go, they, they turn to God through the, the prayers of these, these uh, houses. He says that, that this humble prayer and penance converts the brothers, the sinners, and saves the nations from the deluge of vices and passions which bring about tremendous punishments from the divine justice. I of the world, if there were not these monasteries and convents, the mortals do not understand their work, which if they did, they would give all of their, their goods to multiply them, because there we find the remedy of all physical and moral evil. So we see that in, in the midst of this crisis in the church, the religious life itself was destroyed. It was, 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 there were so many convents and monasteries that were closed, that were destroyed in these years after the Second Vatican Council. And Our Lady is explaining that in order to restore the church in our days, we need to restore this religious life, these, these monasteries and convents. And perhaps let us consider that we ourselves do not give enough importance to these monasteries and convents, that perhaps we have been maybe, maybe indifferent to this religious life. So let us make a firm resolution to support these convents and monasteries, not only with our own uh, with our goods, with, our, with, our, with our, the means that we have, but also by through our prayers and our example, and perhaps with our children themselves to promote this, uh, this, this religious life. And this way we will see how Our Lady will, will, will transform the situation of the crisis, what will bring truly about the restoration of our Catholic faith in the world. So with the spirit of this of this uh, fight against masonry, against liberalism, this, this uh, firm resolution to maintain the true sacraments and this also firm purpose to promote the religious life. Let us pray the novena on this last day, as our lady of Buen Suceso, her strong patronage. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen.